Hello America and to all parents across the globe. I'm doing this YouTube video so that parents everywhere can know that it is okay to protect your child by any means necessary. I would like to inform everyone and all parents that on March 9th, it was brought to my attention by my child who attends Eastern University Academy located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, a 14 year old minor, that his teacher purchased and distributed to him upon my child's request, the book Fifty Shades of Grey for his sustained silent reading time. This book is for mature audiences, pornographic material, and is an erotic romance. And is clearly stated on the cover of the book, Erotic Romance, Mature Audiences. It was never brought to my attention by this teacher and parent parental consent was never obtained. I brought this matter to the principal and the school and they did just as any other school would do. Protect their teacher and try to sweep this matter under the rug. But I will not let it go so easy. This was a red flag. It not only raised one eyebrow, but it raised two. A child was involved. Pornographic material was involved by a licensed professional that has a professional duty to protect, teach, and supervise the child during the day while the parents are at work or whatever. This is supposed to be our children's safe zone. The school officials, however, feels as though since my child has not been touched, that this is not a matter that requires nothing more than a five-day suspension without pay. I think not. This is 100% negligence on the behalf of a licensed professional. It is pornographic material involved and a child. This is not okay. My question is, as a reading teacher, how dare you insult my intelligence and state that you didn't know the contents of the book. And even if that is was the case and is so, you're a reading teacher. It is your job, it is your professional obligation and responsibility to look into the contents of any book that you purchase, not the school that you purchased and gave to this child. I am still fighting this, ba this battle and will not give up until something is done. Since this incident on March 9th um, was brought to the attention of the school on March 12th, my child has not had a sustained silent reading class nor a math class because this is the teacher that teaches the two subjects. Instead, the school felt that it was okay to send my child home with a folder during his spring break vacation which took place on April 6th. They sent him home with his folder, with his math review, and his final. And it was to be returned on in April, April the 15th. I'm gonna check this. On April the 15th. Let's see. On April the 5th. Me as a parent, I did not honor that request. I will not honor that request. Eastern University Academy have wronged my child of two offenses. The first involving the distribution of pornographic material. And the second is my child not having a math or sustained silent reading class since March 12th of 2013. Parents, all I would like to tell you is that no, my child may not have been touched. But guess what? We caught it. So now we don't have to worry about no child being touched by this man. Because clearly, this was an inappropriate act that should be taken care of. But instead, the school continues to protect this teacher. They continue to sweep this matter under the rug and continue not to have a math class or sustained silent reading class for my child. Today's date, uh, which he's on spring vacation right now, 
It's uh, May the 2nd, 2013. He'll be returning to school on May 6th. And with that being said, I just want any supporters who feel as though as a parent, Fifty Shades of Grey is not a book that any teacher should be purchasing and distributing to a child. This to me is grounds for displacement maybe. Um, and I just want to make the parents and the public aware. Protect our children from people like this. He gave a sign and I responded before any other children were involved. And that's all I have to say and I'll keep you all updated. Because again, this fight is not over.